Okay, Les Arnott here, and welcome to this little tutorial. Um, a lot of people who come on my workshops for the harvest mice and take a lot of these apple shots, often sometimes we use flash or studio light and you get this glare, even in natural light, and you can get it from coming through the window, you can uh, get a glare similar to this on the apple. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can get rid of that. And first of all, I'm going to use the, the lasso tool. So we select the lasso tool. And in the first instance, the important thing to look at is the feather is on zero. And then we go to the highlight and we go around the highlight, making sure we enclose all of it. Something like that. And then what we do is on the keyboard, we hold down um, the shift key and tap the backspace key just once with the shift key down until you get this come up which is the fill and make sure that contents you have content aware selected if you click on OK it will then magically remove the highlight for you OK so that that looks good. Okay, so another way of doing this is to use the lasso tool and put quite a large feather in. So I'm going to put a feather of around uh, 60. I'm going to draw around this area, making sure that I'm leaving quite a big area around it. And then making sure that I've got this first button selected on the options bar, which is new selection. I've got the mouse inside this. Move this down slightly and draw across. Let's go to this area. Maybe about there. I'm going to press the edit and go to copy and then edit paste. And that gives me another little new selection there. I can move over and having that feather on it just blends in nicely and that is sometimes a better method you can take the opacity of that down just a tiny little bit and just get a little bit of the original coming through because you may have a little bit of a highlight there just a tiny bit and then you can see it's even that. Let's just have a look at 100%. Yeah, it's probably a little bit better. And then we can merge that down. So if I right click on that, on the layer in the layers palette, merge it down. And any other areas that you want to, to maybe just neaten up, so smaller areas, what I suggest is that you use. The patch tool. So the patch tool is with the spot healing brush and the healing brush tool patch tool. Making sure that this is on source on the top, so on the options bar, make sure this one is clicked, source. And let's just just try this area, it's a little bit light. So I'm just going to drag that down to a different area and let go. That just needs that up. I don't like this little dark area, it really looks a bit repetitive, so I'm going to bring that down. Um, there we go. So, little areas we can use this quite successfully. So, you just make a selection and then you drag it to your destination. Let's just see if we can get rid of this brown mark on there. Now, that's quite natural. We just show you the, the use of the tool. There you go. Looks a bit repetitive there, so we'll get that and just move that across. So that's just there to neaten up your apple. That's good enough to eat now. Okay, so hope that helps. A few little tricks there for getting rid of highlights.